Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in FIFA 23. I'm a bit disappointed by the game. It feels like a very bad port from a console game. You don't have a lot of options in the, the PC version that you can change. You don't even have the launcher that we had before that you just can trigger and change some graphic parameter. But I found like a config file that we're going to look at. So first of all, we're going to start by optimi optimizing Windows. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So in the document FIFA 23, you have a uh, file called FIFA Setup. So this is pretty much all the stuff that you can change inside of the game. The only one that you don't see, it's the anti-aliasing over there. So I recommend to just remove it. It will help you a little bit with your FPS. 
So just put the number zero. Sometimes uh, the automatic version of FIFA will already put your MSAA level at zero, but sometimes it will be one. On my laptop, it was one and it helped me uh, with to, to, to improve my FPS. So just put zero over there, save and close this. So, so this is pretty much with the uh, config file. Now let's go inside of the game. So now in the menu, so as you can see, you don't have a lot of option for FIFA. So we're going to start with the resolution over there. Make sure that you're playing native. So it really depends on your monitor. If you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. Don't lower your resolution to a, a resolution lower than your monitor. Your game will look a lot blurry. For the display mode, I really recommend to go with full screen. I did some tests in window and window borderless. I was getting stuttering, lags and stuff like that. So super important to use full screen. For your FPS, you have three different options. You can lock it at 30, 60, and no limit. Me, I'm playing at no limit, and I'm locking my FPS with the Radiant software at 168 because I still want to be in my uh, free sync range. Um, here, it really depends on your PC. If you have good thermals, you can definitely unlock your FPS. But honestly, if you're playing on a laptop with a 60 Hz screen, don't unlock your FPS. Lock it at 60. Anyway, you have like a 60 Hz monitor. You don't want to generate too much heat in your computer and after have some thermal throttling and start lagging and stuff like that. So don't go too crazy with that. Dynamic resolution scale, it's completely broken right now. Don't use that. Anyway, you don't want to use that on the PC. You don't want your... Uh, a resolution changing on the fly depending what you're seeing in the screen just like have good game setting and you don't need that strain base air if you're playing on the stream deck or on a very old computer i really recommend to put this one at off if you're playing on the normal computer like just a mid-range computer that can be three or even four years old you can definitely go with on with this one for the render quality, you have three, uh, four different sorry, render quality. You have low, medium, high, and ultra. So um, the difference between low and medium, I saw 3% difference in my FPS. Medium and high, I saw 6% in my FPS. And high to ultra, another 10% in my FPS. So I really recommend to start with medium. It seems to be a good balance. If you have a plenty of FPS, definitely go with high. If you're still struggling, go with low, and you should be fine to run this game. So this is pretty much it guys for my FIFA 23 guide on the PC. It's pretty disappointing when you look at those uh, features. You don't have a lot of stuff that you can change. Uh, it feels like a console game, a bad port of a console game. But anyway, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.